Microsoft. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Five minute, I'm gonna, so you see this price action. This is 30 minutes before the market closed there on uh, Friday. You can take a look at Microsoft. Here's here's the SPY and a little bit of a crazy dip there, uh, as well as the Qs, a little bit of a crazy dip there. And it was all stemmed from Microsoft. What the heck went on there? Well, what went on was their one of their biggest, and you can see, you know, pretty large drop there, kind of into the day on Microsoft. You know, this is a 15 minute chart, so you can see you know, really kind of got hit there. It was trying to make a little bit, a little bit of a lower wick rebound. And then that news broke and nice little drop there. So <sighs> Microsoft. All right. There was, <laughs> there was a great, this, this guy, um, 30 minutes before the close on Friday, Microsoft, uh, got hit with some news that Sam Altman was being fired from the uh, from the CEO position at OpenAI, who Microsoft has kind of backed and partnered, kind of partnered with in a big way about supplying AI to Microsoft. And what kind of happened was he got laid off. Microsoft was told one minute before Sam was told the board's decision that that this was going to happen. So this caught Microsoft off guard. And you can see, you know, this headline here also Microsoft emerges as a big winner from OpenAI terminal. So that happened. And the next shoe that kind of dropped was the person that was going to take over, you know, the COO, I guess. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I forget, I forget the person's name, but they also resigned because of this. They said, Hey, you're going to be a, you know, the interim CEO. And he said, no, I resigned. He sent a company wide email immediately. <laughs> so, you just had like so many news things about this dropped over the weekend and uh, a lot even dropped kind of like Friday night. And then, but Microsoft, this, and this is going to go back. I'm going to get to a point of the board here and the, the power of the board. So the things that kind of happened all, all week and you started to see in reports of Microsoft and Satya Nadella were trying to, you know, get Sam back reinstated. Um, that was coming out Saturday and, you know, Sunday and basically said like, you know, he has no interest to be there unless the board is kind of, uh, ousted. And then apparently it kind of got figured out. He shows up, I guess, at open AI's company. Uh, the company, uh, you know, open AI's building wearing a guest badge yesterday because he had been terminated. So I'm sure like a lot of his access have been removed and that's kind of where I last saw it last night. And then you open, you wake up today and the interim CEO position then went to the third in charge is a lady. I think maybe their chief technology officer. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it was a lady and it said there was an article basically saying like she was trying to get Sam hired Sam back this morning. And that was early, early this morning, like really early hours. And then kind of like around market open time, you, you started, I started seeing reports that, Oh, Microsoft had hires has now hired Sam Altman to be there. CEO of new business, like new AI business or something like that. And this was, it was, this was crazy. Like you don't see drama like this in the business world, <laughs> but, but this, this goes down as, oh man, one of the, one of the biggest drama weekends or drama periods, like I think in business history, uh, for the simple fact that 
Sam apparently is someone that very much understands AI and like how to kind of like where to go with it. So he's very, uh, I guess, knowledgeable and sought after and stuff like that. And apparently the board didn't want, didn't let him do what he wanted to do next for AI. Like he, they were restricting him from like taking open AI into the direction he wanted to take it. And that was where the rifts kind of started happening. Obviously this is, you know, probably going to go back a little bit of time where some of these risks are going on. And apparently the board, you know, I don't know if we've been told the full details, but apparently like they were saying like he hasn't been completely truthful about his dealings. And apparently some of those dealings were he was making venture capital arrangements um, to make a new AI company and lead that and go in a different direction from open AI uh, because the board wouldn't let him do what he wanted to do. And apparently the, the board found out about it. And then they, they kind of said, you know, we're not going to just allow, allow you to kind of do this. And apparently there was a funding round for open AI coming um, here in, I don't know, a couple months. And they didn't want to do a funding round. And then he leaves to go somewhere else. So it was just it was just crazy all the stuff that was coming out about this. Anyways, one of the things I want to talk about about this is this just goes to show who has the power in the corporate world. It isn't the CEO, it isn't the board, it's the investors. And I would imagine there is a lot of board members there at OpenAI that are now have egg on their face because they they screwed up they are the ones that screwed up they are there to protect investors and the business and i think what really kind of wound up happening is egos started to get in the way a little bit here and when you have probably a few people in the whole world that actually kind of understand ai development that is not exactly someone that you want to get rid of. And that to me is, is where you had investors over the weekend trying to make concessions to get Sam back into open AI. And it just goes to show the board doesn't hold power. They are there to make sure that investors don't lose value, you know, to kind of the checks and balances thing that CEOs not just running amok uh, with with the company, but they are they are there to answer to investors and to kind of protect investors. But when investors, but when you're getting rid of somebody that knows what they're doing and they want and investors want that person in charge, and then you fire that person, the the investors had the pitchforks out this weekend and they were coming for those board members and Microsoft said, yeah, the hell with you. We're just going to hire this guy. Y'all fired him. We'll hire him. And that's what they did. Microsoft, this is, this is going to be my, my last kind of little talking point here. Microsoft will most likely be the most valuable company at the end of this decade because of this, because of this. And I wouldn't be surprised if OpenAI starts to have major financial issues. There was a company-wide, oh man, a company-wide like protest kind of that for to uh, the employees wanted Sam reinstated back. That was that that came out yesterday, and so you can only imagine. Um now that he's not coming back and he's been hired by Microsoft, what those employees are probably feeling, thinking, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And I could imagine Sam could probably just make some phone calls and say, Hey, do you want to come work over here at Microsoft? I got, I got free reign to kind of do what I want. I don't imagine it's free reign to an extent, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it's such a Nadella probably, has full understanding of what Sam's probably trying to get um, and trying to do. 
but yeah, this is this was this was a crazy weekend, and I almost wish I almost wish this would have happened during a week because uh, we w we would have seen some pretty good movements in 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 Microsoft stock, maybe in some other tech stock names, but kind of a bummer we didn't. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what happens when you get board members that don't fully understand what they're dealing with and they have an ego to tell some it's like this is this would be like henry you know henry ford building a factory and then like the assembly line just gets flipped on and then you fire henry ford that's that's what it would be like like did did the assembly line work perfectly the first time you flipped on a switch no probably not it probably not they probably needed to tweak some things and do different things but um that's that's my kind of my analogy this would be like getting rid of henry ford or Austin henry ford uh before really seeing the benefits of what the assembly line could do and uh i i think some of these board members just had too much of an ego to say hey you know, we, they don't fully understand what's going on and they didn't want him doing whatever he wanted. So he tried to go do whatever he wanted with AI, uh, in another company. He's trying to found another company with VC backup, uh, capital. And, uh, and they found out about it. And anyways, that's at least, that's at least kind of what we've, what we've heard so far. I'm sure there's more to it. I don't really care to delve too much into the weeds, but it was very interesting to see how much stuff around this situation was updated throughout the weekend. It was crazy. Uh, be very interesting to see just, you know, what all kind of comes from this. Uh, and I think Microsoft probably got one of the best AI hires and they didn't even have to hire them away from open AI, you know, they didn't have to pay off a compensation package or anything like that. He was a free employee and he was, they basically were just able to hire him. That that's nuts. You, uh, you leave the door one day CEO of one company and then you show up on Monday, basically CEO of a business unit at another company. It's just, that's just nuts, man. You can't make that up. That is crazy. So. Uh, yeah, Microsoft probably will be the most valuable company at the end of this decade, uh, mostly because of how they're running their cloud and, you know, supplementing and facilitating companies that are trying to build out AI. And obviously one of them was open AI. And now you've hired away probably one of the better, one of the better people who has connections to really smart people to probably build out an AI platform. So... But it's going to be very interesting to see just how this plays out here with Microsoft.